Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Orbitals by Awesome Sauce. So we have standard 6x6 Sudoku rules in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box. We are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. Additionally, we have these gray lines in the grid. They are parity, alternating parity lines. So parity is just the mathematical term for odd or even. So um, what that means is, let's say we determine this cell's even, like a 4 then the next cell next to it has to be odd. So it could be, say, a three. And then this would have to go back to even, then this would be odd, then this would be even, for example. So um, if we start with odd, then we go odd, even, odd, even, odd. We don't know what it starts with, but we know they alternate. All right, so that's all these lines. This is just a loop, but it's the same thing. Um, and then the circles in the grid are even odd count circles. So they count either the number of evens in the eight cells around them, up to eight cells. This one has th three cells around it because the, the others are off grid. But in the up to eight cells around it, it counts the number of evens or the number of odds. And the way it determines whether it counts the evens or odds is the parity of the circle itself. So if I place, say, a five in here, then I would expect to find five odds around it. If I place, say, a six in here, I'd expect to find six evens around it. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so yeah, there's a link in the description if you want to try the puzzle yourself. And I am going to get started right now. OK, so I think the place to start is this one, because it it's all contained in a box, right? Um, and then we'll probably do this one next. But uh, So there are three evens and three odds in every box because it's one through six. So there's exactly three evens, exactly three odds. This is going to use up one of them and it's going to see the two others of its same parity. So this is always going to be a two, which is even. I'm going to use blue for even and orange for odd. And so now how do we put only two evens on this line? If we started here, we'd have to put three of them. So we got to put two evens here and then this would be three odds. And this is odd, and it counts the odds, so it's just a 1. Um, this is 3, 5. Oops, not 3, 4. This is 3, 5, and this is 4, 6. Um, OK, I think I don't want to look at this one right now. <laughs> I think this is pretty open. Um, between these two, oh, actually, I, I see the trick with this one. Um, let's actually color this one green and purple. Uh, so we don't know whether green is odd or green is even, but we know it alternates this way. And you might see immediately that there are exactly four greens and exactly four purples surrounding this circle, right? It, it should have been pretty obvious without even coloring, to be honest, um, because there are, you can just math it, there are eight cells around the circle and this complete, this is just a perimeter parity line. So half of them will be even, half will be odd. So this has to be even in a four, because it's going to count the, the four evens around it. You can't count the odds around it, because there's not an odd number of odds. Um, but we don't know which is which yet. It doesn't tell us that, because um, they both contribute four. So I guess let's look at this one now. Um, we're going to have a, the same pattern as this one, right? We're going to have either three odds or three evens, and then two odds or two evens. Like it's three, and then, and then two. Um, so this is only two or three. If it's a two, these two are even, just like what happened here. If it's a three, then these three are odd. Did I say that right? <coughs> if it's a two, these two are even. If it's a three, these three are odd. So no matter what, these two are even and these three are odd. Whatever this number is, if it's, yeah, if it's a two, it counts these two. If it's a three, it counts these three. Oops, there are no sevens in this puzzle. I meant to undo. Um, cool, all right. Oh, and we have three odds in this column. This is a 3-5 pair. That makes this a 2, and it's even. So far, the evens are uh, outnumbering the odds. Actually, they will. But I am thinking a little bit meta here. And through meta, I can tell you this is going to end up odd. Um, because if it wasn't odd, we don't have any way to distinguish the three fives from each other because the, the circles are the only thing that actually give you digits. <laughs> so we have a two and a four, right? So we don't need a six in a circle. That, that can resolve. We only have a one. So this is this is going to be odd. It's going to be three or five, but we're, we're not going to do that logically, not through uniqueness. 
Um, anyway, we can color these at least. And that's a 4-6 pair. Um, oh, yeah. The coloring here was confusing me a little bit, but we have two evens in this row. So if these were even, we would have four evens in the row. So that's not that's not going to happen. So these are odd. And these are even. Uh, that makes this odd, this even, this odd. It's like all checkerboarded. I wonder if the whole grid ends up checkerboarded. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, is it at this point that we look at this and make it a 3-5? Let's see. Well, if it wants to be even, it needs to be a 2. If it was two, it already sees two, so these would all be odd, and yeah, we'd have four odds in this row, so that's not going to work. So it's not even, because it can't be a two, it can't be four six, because it sees a four six pair. So it is odd, which is good, because we need it to be. Uh, right now, oh, it's definitely not a one, because it already sees three odds. Now, if it was a three, all three of these would be even. I don't see any reason they couldn't be. I'm going to keep an eye out on that, though. Um, I guess this one, too, goes over here. Let's do some Sudoku if we can. Let's, we can fill two, four, six in these. These aren't four. We can fill one, three, five in these. We can fill one, three, five in all these. We can fill, oh, we can fill a six here. That's helpful. Um, there we go. I guess I didn't consider five. So in these two cells, we only get one more odd in this row. So in these two cells, we can contribute one more odd. So this would be a one, and then this would be an odd. So I guess it would be a three. Seems okay. Oh, I can put a two here. So, oh, I just noticed these twos line up. Aha. Uh -huh. Where does 2 go in this column? <laughs> uh, this 2 sees here, and this 2 sees here. None of these are 2. So the 2 goes here. And it's even. And so that actually that ends up with 3. I, I thought for sure it would end up 5. Um, okay. So it's it's a 3 because we only, ha we only see 3 odds right now. Uh, we can't see 2 more because that would be too many in the row. So it's a 3. 5, 3... Clean this up a little bit. Um, but because it's three, these are both even. Let's make sure we fill that. So that's a five. This is four, six. Yeah, we can resolve that. Um, that resolves all of these. You basically do two different Sudokus in one because you have to solve the evens and odds separately from each other. Um, this is one, six, five. Uh, one, six, five. And don't worry, I will color these. All right, cool. Well, uh, thanks, Awesome Sauce. That was a neat puzzle. Um, a nice use of this interesting variant. Um, I think I've done, I've done a nine by nine with this with this circle constraint. I don't remember if it was combined with parity lines or not. But yeah, super interesting. Um, thank you for your, for this puzzle, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.